So it is about 1.45 now. Um, what you guys saw was our entire morning routine, which includes us waking up sometime between 9 and 10-ish, depending on the day. It's a Monday, so today was way closer to the 10 o'clock range. Um, we all have breakfast together. Kevin and I work out while Emily normally does whatever I strew for her. Sometimes she's not interested in what I strew for her, in which case she'll just play quietly. Um, she cannot play on screens though first thing in the morning. That is a rule in our house. Um, this morning what I strewed for her were some winter Lego building principles. I have an entire like free winter strewing bundle. I will leave it in the description if you are looking for some things to strew. It includes the Legos, some pattern block ideas, some geo board ideas, um, and even more than that. So I'll leave that in the description for you in case you're looking for something. Um, and then when we finish with our workout, we all go for a walk together. We have really been enjoying that um, as something that kind of gets our wiggles out and starts our day, like our homeschool day, really, really well. Um, and then after that, we typically will get showers, change clothes, do our chores, which is like making the bed, doing laundry, feeding the cat, those kinds of things. Um, and then we're going to have lunch. Now, Emily is still doing snacky lunches. That's one of her favorite things. So I actually make them the night before to save myself some headache and kind of prep them. And it's typically like this lunchable kind of thing, fruits, vegetables, snacks. She eats whatever she wants for lunch and then she can snack on what's left the rest of the day. So I make sure I like heavily fill it up, put it in the fridge and she can access it at any point. It is amazing because it means less interruptions when I'm trying to teach and she's hungry, she just gets whatever she wants out and eats whatever she wants. So I have a blog post with all of the things we use for that and some of our favorite um, foods. So I will link that in the description too in case you're looking for some solutions to all of the eating because nobody tells you that that is literally the thing you're going to do most in homeschool when you start homeschooling. Um, so after that, the only thing I know for sure that we will be doing today um, is we're going to do some of the Wilson Snowflake Bentley unit study, which is also a freebie. So I'll link that in the description too, because we are getting ready to take a trip to hopefully, fingers crossed, see snow. So I want to make sure that she kind of has an idea of the types of snowflakes and the life cycle and the parts of a snowflake, just, you know, kind of to help her anticipation of going. So we're going to do that today. And we have a Kroger grocery delivery coming later this afternoon. So that is the only thing I know for sure is happening. The rest is just going to be whatever it's going to be. It's a Monday in January, you guys. It's winter. It is a little chilly here today. It's kind of overcast and blah. So we're just going to do whatever we're going to do. Willie read of a camera with its own microscope. If I had that camera, I could photograph snowflakes, he told his mother. Willie's mother knew he would not be happy until he could share what he had seen. Fussing with snow is just foolishness, his father said. But still, he loved his son, and when Willie was 17, his parents spent their savings and bought the camera. Wow. And then evaporation. And then it evaporates. So basically, it snows, it collects, it evaporates, it goes back into the cloud, it becomes condensation. When the cloud is full of condensation, then it rains and becomes precipitation. And if it's cold enough, then that becomes snowflakes when it comes out of the sky, right? If it rains. Then it collects, and so then it just keeps going over and over and over doing these different things. I wish we could actually see that and like watch see it, happening. it happen.
take these and you're going to roll them and let's build an equation. Super excited. Let's see what math problem I get. 116? That is beautiful. Yes, ma'am. Hi, I'm Mark, and in this experiment, we're going to create instant snow that doesn't need it to be freezing cold. Go ahead and put that in this cup right here. Yes, sir. Wow, that's a lot. And look, you made artificial snow. Awesome. It is 4.40 now, and we have finished homeschooling for the day. Again, it is a Monday. It is kind of a crazy winter January day here in Florida, so we're taking it super easy. Um, from now until dinner time, we all kind of go our separate ways for some free time. That typically means that Kevin and I are going to be working, um, and Emily does whatever she wants to do. Sometimes that might look like reading, other times it's playing, sometimes it's taking a class if she has classes in the afternoon, um, sometimes it's FaceTiming with a friend, Minecraft, watching TV. Really, she's free to do pretty much anything she wants at this point. So what are you doing with your free time today? I'm writing a book. Oh yeah? What's it about? It's about dragons. Can you read me some of it? Meet Starla, Chapter 1. Starla, Starla, where are you? You're supposed to find her, weirdo, said Tulip. She's their caretaker. She's testing their hunting ability. Oh, said Burn, a fire wing. Go find her, barked Tulip. Okay, I can do this, Burn whispered to himself. A couple hours later, it was time to have their last meal of the day. Dinner. Yummy, I can't wait for dinner, said Starla. She is a moon wing. I can't wait either, said Burn. Are y'all coming? said Tulip. That got Starla to practically run over Burn. Ah! screamed Burn, as Starla passed by so fast. Starla was the first to get her meal. Tulip was very shocked as Starla came speeding in. Ah! screamed Tulip. That's a wonderful start. I can't wait till you finish it. Thanks. It is 10.17 and at this point we are pretty much done for the day. After homeschool, some free time, dinner, some family time, that pretty much wraps our day up. Um, the only thing that we really have left to do is the bedtime routine, which means that Emily is getting a shower right now, Kevin's taking the garbage out, I'll do the dishes, you know, one kind of like last tidying of the house before we wind down for bed. Um, after that, I will do bedtime basket with Emily. Uh, we still do kind of a modified version of that. It's a little shorter because when I'm done, she typically will either read herself or listen to an audiobook now that she's a little bit older until she falls asleep. Uh, Kevin and I have nighttime tea together, and then we will either read books or listen to podcasts or sometimes we'll watch a movie um, until about midnight-ish. Typically, that's when we tend to fall asleep unless I'm reading a book and it's getting really good and then I will stay up way too late reading, which I'm starting a new book tonight, so hopefully that doesn't happen.